All right. Well, anytime you're going to work on a monitor, you want to make it as safe as possible. So I'm sure you've probably heard the stories about how monitors can hold 30,000, 40,000 volts, etc. And obviously that can be dangerous. Um, so what we want to do is discharge a monitor. Now, if you've never discharged a monitor, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. For starters, you're going to need a tool. Now, you can probably buy one online, I believe, from the real Bob Roberts, his website, or probably other locations. But I've built one myself. It's really nothing more than a screwdriver with a grounding clip connected to a wire, an alligator clip on the other end. I just put some electrical tape over the exposed grounding clip so when I'm in there bumping around, I don't hit something I don't want to hit. The high voltage is actually under this suction cup looking thing in a, a part of the monitor known as the anode hole. This is known as the anode cap. The whole anode hole is part of the tube. Now what you want to do is connect your alligator clip to the frame and then I usually take this, you can touch that outside of the standout cap, I usually take one hand and carefully bend this back, take my screwdriver and just slip it just under the edge just so I can get the screwdriver in under the edge. Then I take my other hand away. This is important, I want to make sure that I'm not the path of least resistance. I want to make sure that the, the current flows through the screwdriver, into the wire, into the frame, ground itself out versus through me. So I want to touch it with only one hand. Now all I'm going to do is slide the screwdriver up there and there's a little metal clip under there. I'm just touching the metal clip, I'm going to touch the metal clip with my screwdriver. When I do this I might get a, a pop, maybe a little flash, and that's simply it. Now there it was, there's a little pop, and essentially I'm just going to go ahead and pull my screwdriver away. I'm going to wait about five minutes or so and then repeat this process. Then maybe wait another five or ten minutes or so and repeat the process. By then, the monitor will be nicely discharged and you can go ahead and remove the anode cap. Okay, now that we've discharged the monitor, we've got to go ahead and remove the anode cap, or we want to go ahead and remove the anode cap. We could do this later if the monitor's technically discharged and we're confident of that, but just in case you have any doubt, it's relatively smart to do it um, at this point. Basically, what you want to do is leave your uh, discharging tool connected to the frame. You take this anode cap and you can go ahead and bend it back a little so you can see something. It's probably going to be hard to see on the video, but I'll try to pull it back good. And hopefully you can see that clip in there. Now you don't have to pull it back this far. You'll be able to see better without doing all that, but this is for the purposes of the video and you guys seeing well. You can see the clips in there. And basically all I'm going to do is put my screwdriver up against one side of the clip and depress it and unhook it from the anode hole, hopefully. And then just slide the other side off, and there you go.